Long gone are the days when content creators had to rely on traditional forms of media to make a living. If you're not acting on KBC or Citizen TV, it was impossible to make it. The new kids on the block like Flacco and Crazy Kenna have completely changed the game. Crazy Kenna is proof that consistency and hard work pay off. You might not know that Crazy Kenna's mother will steal his father's trousers for him to shoot with, and the father will in turn steal the mother's skirt and dresses for the same. At the time, it would look like a stupid thing to do, but Crazy Kenna is amongst the top content creators in Africa. His family's love and stealing habits turned out to be a blessing. Crazy Kenna has been creating content for over half a decade now. At only 23 years of age, Crazy Kenna has done the unthinkable. But behind the success also lies the challenges. On Tuesday, July 4th, Kenna took to Instagram to share a message that read, Depression is real, with a broken heart emoji attached to his statement. He did not provide more information for his post, leaving fans struggling to understand what was happening. This came amidst reports of changes in his life and rumors of a disagreement between him and his former castmates Bushra, Yvonne, and Wanjiru. While Crazy Kenna fans were asking questions, about who decided to make this post, one of his main team members, Yvonne, posted a mysterious message that seemed to suggest there might be some problems. Toxic people acting as a victim is the funniest thing ever. Another team member, Wanjiro, also posted, Men can live in the desert with no water. No, actually, men will live in the desert with no water. Anyway, another day to remind you to fight for your space and apologetically. Wanjiro also shared a video on an Instagram story dancing to Kadibi's song, Clout. So who was really chasing clout? Is it Kenna or the female team? Before I answer that, like this video, share it, and most importantly, subscribe. His girlfriend Natalia Sewe also shared a cryptic message amid speculations that her boyfriend has fallen out with his comedy crew. On Insta stories, Natalia posted, Fear women, which appeared to respond to Kenna's female team. While some fans express their worries about Crazy Kenna's well-being, some people suggest that the cryptic message might be part of an upcoming comedy skit and it wasn't something to be worried about. You may say Crazy Kenna is a comedian. How can he be depressed? He's supposed to always be happy. He makes other people happy. Why can't he do the same for himself? Sometimes the brightest smiles are the ones that hide the most pain. And just because Crazy Kenna is a comedian, does not mean he's always happy. Crazy Kenna took a short break from creating content, which was unusual, but he assured his fans that he will continue producing more content. Crazy Kenna made a comeback with a skit that instantly went viral. In this video, he played the typical Kenyan public servant, the corrupt and selfish individual. This clip went viral, making Crazy Kenna trending topic on Twitter and garnering close to 2 million views on Instagram and 4.5 million views on Twitter. His return marked a new chapter in his career and confirmed his legend in content creation. Crazy Kenna made a shocking revelation on his upcoming plans. He will perform a live show in December. This announcement was accompanied by a heartfelt video where Kenna shared his dreams and aspirations for this groundbreaking venture. Kenna said, Today I want to share something so personal to me. This year, I want to do something that is scary to me. I've been thinking about it for the last six years, and I want to do a live show on stage. He wants to transform digital comedy into live stage performances with the goal of having 6,000 people in attendance this December. He further stated, In my heart, I believe this dream is possible, and personally, I'm going to give a performance of a lifetime. Can I emphasize the live show will be a chance to establish a connection with his fans for the first time, urging them to support him by sharing, tagging friends, buying tickets, and attending the event. Whether this happens or not, Crazy Kenna has proved to the world that he is indeed the content cartel. In this video, we look at his life and how he became such a big deal in online videos. In the world of online content creation, Kennedy Odhiambo, known as Crazy Kenna, has risen to become a household name in Kenya and beyond catching the attention of influential figures like Nigerian music star Don Jazzy and South African superstar Trevor Noah. However, this film did not come easy. Kennedy Odhiambo's journey as a content creator began during his school days. He attended Sacred Heart Primary School in Babadogo 
for joining Ringa Boys High School in Homa Bay County. Krizikena started acting in class 3 and in class 7, they scooped the Best Actor Award in Nairobi County during the Kenya National Music and Drama Festivals in 2011. Kenna's interest in comedy was nurtured by his high school teacher, Mr. Andal, who recognized his comedic talent. In a statement, he once said, I picked up comedy while doing narratives in high school. My teacher, then Mr. Andal, discovered my talent when he had me come up with a seven minute script after we had no script four days before the competitions. Together with Stanley Omondi, who was his schoolmate, and later became part of Tales of Crazy Kenna, they performed together. It was at this point that he discovered he had a special gift for creating content. After high school, Crazy Kenna joined Jay Quart to pursue a Bachelor of Science in Actual Science. But, Crazy Kenna's rise to stardom came through his hilarious and relatable videos. He and his schoolmate Stanley Omondi formed the foundation of Tales of Crazy Kenna. Their content quickly gained popularity, with one of the YouTube videos, a parody featuring Ethic, Sailors, Boondocks, Delo and Zero, amassing over 3 million views. They were later joined by other talented individuals, and they grew to become one of the most hilarious content creators in the Kenyan online space. In 2021, Crazy Kenna won three awards at the Pulse Influencer Awards as Kenya's Comedy Influencer, Facebook Influencer, and Instagram Influencer of the Year. The winner is Crazy Kenna. What was more interesting is that he came to the awards with his team and insisted they were all part of his success. His influence extends beyond Kenyan borders. He has gone international, doing events and collaborations, including a trip to South Africa, where he embarked on a comedy tour, and he met with the popular comedian Trevor Noah. In November 2022, Kenya represented Kenya at a digital creators event in London as part of Meta's Creators of Tomorrow campaign. This campaign celebrates emerging talents worldwide and it aims to support their growth in the ever-evolving digital landscape. Kenneth Jane has not only been about comedy, he has also taken up the role of a mental health ambassador. He understands the importance of mental well-being, having faced depression himself. Through his initiative Happy Country, Ken aims to promote emotional wellness and support those dealing with depression and related issues. In 2021, he ventured into the hospitality sector with the launch of Instant Delicacies. The restaurant was located at Juja Square and was frequented by J. Quart students. The official unveiling of the facility was attended by the big names in Kenya. However, on January 20th this year, it announced its closure from its operations in Juja via a post on Instagram that read, The premises will remain closed starting Friday, January 20th. Our services will be temporarily unavailable as we well to announce a new location. We apologize for any inconveniences caused. Aside from the hotel, Crazy can also launch the Kazi app in November 2021. It was an app that links job seekers with various opportunities, and it was to address youth unemployment, a contributing factor to depression. It's Janice proof that Kenna must be crazy. Despite his young age, he has risen to become a global content creator and entrepreneur. Through his humor, advocacy for mental health, and business ventures, he continues to positively impact the world. His story serves as a testament to you. Pursue that crazy idea. You might be the next Crazy Kenner.